Okay, let's have a listen to this voicemail I got from Tim. Hey, Andrew. It's Tim Place. A uh, question keeps coming up asking why there are a bunch of low-pass filters in MSP but no high-pass filters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know that you can subtract any signal from a low-pass version of itself and get a high-pass response? All right it on. works great with, like, one pole or low res or whatever. Anyway, cheers, mate. Cheers. Okay, let's have a look at what he's saying. I'll get a sound source going. Okay, let's have a look at it. Okay, my audio is already on. That's handy. Let's put a filter in. Let's put low res in. And let's have a look at that. I think in order to make the display of this a little more clear, I'm going to change the frequency scale to logarithmic. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to subtract the low pass from the original signal. Original signal, low pass, and then what do we get? Ah, there's the low pass, and there's the high pass. Cool. Happy patching.